Uh, kia ora, ko katarai nga taia pa matakātea tōku ingoa. Uh, he kai ako ahau no te kura Māori o Purirua. Uh, I tēnei tau uh, ka noho ake au ki te wharekura, te pua waitanga. Uh, whakahaere ake i ngā akoranga o te wharepora o te rā te reo Māori. E te kura Māori o Purirua, uh, we have four mā tāpono, uh, which is rangatiratanga, whaiwāhitanga, kaitiakitanga and whanaungatanga. So for us at Tukuro Māori o Purirua, it's about opening pathways and avenues that some of our whānau wouldn't necessarily have had. So we don't see ourselves as just a kura, we see ourselves as a lifestyle movement. If we can open the door for a child, we're opening the door for a whānau. Uh, so we encouraged our whānau to be a part of that learning. So we can't start a day without having a karakia. We encourage our students to run those sessions. They're only going to know if we model. For our kura, uh, hauora isn't just physical education. A strong part of our hauora is te taha So acknowledging uh, people when they do something well, encouraging our, our secondary students to spontaneously just get up and acknowledge the younger siblings or the tainer within the kura for uh, their excellence, or sitting down and having wānanga uh, about waiata, uh, where it came from, who wrote it, uh, the purpose behind those waiata uh, and it's about a sense of belonging and grounding them. Many of our students uh, don't have the opportunity to go back to their own marae uh, so we often have to do that via wānanga, via motiatia. So we have kids can operating within our kura, we have a breakfast club, we also have uh, fruit in schools and then we have a hot kai every lunch three times a week. Now it's coming back to us, the kaiako, and our students, teaching them how to prepare kai um, and ensuring that everyone's got a full puku at lunchtime. It's not only for those who don't have a lunch, it's for all of the children. If they don't have anything in their puku, you're not going to learn anything. Teach year one, year one and two. I think there is no point trying to do any teaching if the child is not settled, um, is not feeling okay. Um, we try to follow the whare tapawha principle, um, you know, there's te taha wairua, taha tinana, taha whānei and taha hiningaro. Um, if all four wars of their well-being are not okay, they're probably not going to process any learning or um, grasp anything you're trying to teach them. They like to talk and share their thoughts and feelings with each other and that's where we, we as a teacher get a gauge on how quick our activities should be. During lockdown it gave us a lot of time to get to know the parents more. You can see it coming back to school, the parents have started to come in um, they want to know more about what we're doing, how they can help. I observed and witnessed some of our tamariki came back and we were feeling uh, ang anxious. Um, there was an element of isolation. Because they had been locked down for seven weeks, uh, they only had their whanau at home. So they were, and we're still unpacking that. Koriari aku ata heras toku ingoa, uh, e uri whakaikia mai ngā iwi e rua nei, uh, te matana mai te whiore o te kaabawi, uh, ngā pui o tō ngā, uh, ngā te kahu, uh, rāhiri, uh, katahi ka heke mai ki roto tarawa waka, uh, reira ngā wai kaukau o te roto iti e kite ai a ihenga uh, ngā tirongo mai, uh, koe nā aku taha e rua. I run the hākina for the whole kura tuatahi, so from Year zero right through to year eight. Tuesdays and Thursdays I run circuit trainings for the uh, year eights and sevens and it's just to try and get some basic fitness so when they do participate in sports they have some something to work with and Monday, Wednesday, Fridays are, are skill based so anything from dribbling a ball and just body movement so foot placement, doing sport in, in groups they might kind of attend when they're in groups and uh, learning situations that their teachers are teaching them for. Um, they might struggle in it, but because they've kind of 
gone to war together physically um, with circuit training or some kind of sports activity. When they go into the class, they're more engaging with their peers. I feel like I'm a part of something that's um, growing every day. Just seeing the, the light switches in the kids is probably the most rewarding thing.